I think I'm good, although I'm a little concerned that something showing up that there's no signal, but it's not relevant for this part of the stream. So we'll worry about it when we get to that part, I suppose. And I may or not may not be stalling for time until this started. I swear, if I defeated hard without putting any input into the oh my god, I defeated lunatic without putting any sort of input into the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now I'm just curious to see it. if the good old Infernal stands a chance against my team of OP heroes without any sort of say on my behalf. And they're off. We got Team Lin taking on Team Red doing their stuff to beat the guys. Who will win? Our triumphant heroes or the Bellacious bad guys. Only time will find out, and I'm sure that if Jackie K actually canceled the auto battle function and actually played the game, we would it would be a lot more assured who would be the victor in this match. But we've come so far just autoing our way through victory and all. So might as well just see how much further I can get just for the lows. And luckily we got a lot of archers in here. A lot of archers in play all over the place. I was about to say, yeah, good thing I don't have a Pegasus Knight, but guess who just came onto the field? A Pegasus Knight. But guess what? All the bow users are dead or defeated or however your HP reaching zero works in this strange, wacky world. Because heroes supposedly die, but you never actually lose units in Fire Emblem Heroes. Tempest Trial is a vague exception. Sort of, kind of, but not really. And it looks like Team Auto Battle of the Lin Heroes took down their fort. They almost took down both forts. That may have actually resulted in the defeat because of... Uh, yeah, but look how close we were. I do it just now for the heck of it, but... We got other things to do in this stream. We got heroes to draw. So why not get into that, shall we? Hey Interwebs, this is Jack K here, introducing you all to the game of Fire Emblem Heroes. Did I get anything good on the hybrid banner? Not really, but I haven't really done too many draws. I've just been saving my orbs specifically for the stream. The only thing I've actually done off stream is this one summoning session. I'll point it out when we get to it. But I had to do that one, because I wasn't sure if I'd actually be able to go live before it ended. So I got that free one. Got that free one. Yeah, I haven't touched the Herod drawing set at all yet. With 84 orbs, I think we'll be able to do so though. This. This is the only thing I touched off screen. I did like one free orb to get my free draw, because as you can see with it only having 5 hours left. It was very possible that I wouldn't have gotten around to it tonight. So, who do we go for first? I guess... Bowling Gauntlet? Yeah, this one really looks nice and calls out to me. We're probably not gonna dump a bunch of orbs into it. Saving that for Legend Heroes that... I was gonna say, but I could at least go for a red. Um, um, okay, I think green... ...was the one that's not... ...red. That is exclusive to this set. So I'm gonna use my free draw on that. Let's see if we got anything good out of this. A three star mercenary. I also just realized maybe I should have cleared out my hero inventory before then, but I guess it'll be, if it comes down to that, we could use it as a good catch up opportunity. Okay, I did those already. I don't know, just something about all these. New ones of the original characters isn't calling out to me. And it's not because I don't like the characters. Like, Baby Snowflake would be a nice hero to have. I gave nicknames to all the heroes in the Ice Clan on my own, like Daydreaming on the Road. That's not as bad as it sounds. And I forgot most of them already. I think, like, I forget. <laughs> the problem is, I don't know the names well enough. To associate them with my nicknames. 
I have... I think they're self-explanatory, though, because, like, Dream Princess? I think we know who Dream Princess would be. Then there's Ice King. <laughs> I tend to call him that, even though he's a prince. Then we have Special Snowflake. Oh, yeah, Christmas Banner's coming up. I am kind of less tempted to splurge on ours, but we'll see. But I can't remember. I think I didn't really quite figure out what I wanted to give her nickname as, besides Baby Snowflake. But now that I say it out loud, Baby Snowflake makes the most sense. So we have the whole family here of Baby Snowflake, Special Snowflake, Dream Princess, and Ice King. Those are going to be my personal headcanon names. And I'm pretty happy that you did pretty well with your whole drawing session. Summer Colonia yeah, does seem like a good one to have. I'm not sure if I actually got her yet. I know she was one that I was pursuing for a little while. But I can't remember if I actually got her before or not. That reminds me though, I should probably check the details of which heroes belong to which colors before I start even considering splurging orbs. So, red is Ice King, if we want that. Unfortunately, it doesn't really seem like there's anything else standing out in red, so I'm not sure if I'm really going to be focusing on that. Blue has Lucina, Cordelia, and Hector, which will all be nice, but I know I have Lucina already. Then we have Dream Princess, which I don't recall if I got her. I think I did get, but for some reason, it's not a perfect memory in my mind. There's something kind of appealing about Coralus, though. I think it's just because No Air is a hero I definitely know I don't have. And I never did actually get Femme Grandma, even though she's pretty much been a part of every single legendary hero set. But I think we'll do the typical drawing set for when I have a good chunk of orbs and... I'm just getting started on it. Go for one whole set, no matter what colors show up. And then we'll decide where to go in different color orientations, if possible. But you actually do bring up a good point with the whole hero drawing set. I completely forgot about the Christmas banner. El Roma, I don't even recall who she is, so that must be pretty good if you have that graven record, man. So, I'm just gonna keep drawing here and see if it, and your good luck rubs up on me for this particular day. A little conflicted, because I know you in particular mostly come for the Fire Emblem Hero stuff. So I'm a little bit more hesitant to just jump into the next thing I was gonna do after drawing Heroes. Even though I'm thinking about cutting off. Even though I gotta do the whole Pokemon Go Fireside chat recording. Mostly just could be a news recap and just talking about my community day. I guess that would at least make for interesting content. I'm really excited to actually do the thing afterwards though. Hopefully everything doesn't blow up when that, we get to that point though. In the meantime I guess I can do a little more drawing if I decide not to draw more at this rate. We can at least do tap battles. Those are short and quick, and I haven't done it in a long... It feels way too long since the last time I've done tap battle. In fact, I can't remember a time I've done tap battles outside of stream. Despite how much I love the feature, it's just like... feels like I don't get the time to dedicate into this game. There we go, we hit the maximum. That's what I was saying, though. Seems like we never have enough time to get this game. I have never have enough time to do tap battles unless I'm specifically streaming it. God bless though. I am not ready to make critical thinking <laughs> decisions like who do I send home? Oh, no, that's too far apparently. Where's the curious barracks? I can also make people into books. I forgot about that option. I like this book feature because it allows me to just store heroes that I'm not going to use but have useful abilities. And just come back to them another time, I suppose. 
I can recall Razzle having something decent. And I know I don't get any round to her, him anytime soon. Let's start with these, send the girls home. That should at least get our hero drawing down enough that we could actually do some hero drawings. I don't got too much more drawing in me, maybe another set or so anyways. Barracks, send home. This is, they changed the colors of all the hero stuff and it's kind of throwing me off a little, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I know you're good for Fury, but I don't think I need Fury anytime soon. I don't think you're good for anything. It's not like I have like spares in case I actually do end up needing these heroes for things in the future. Have I mentioned I never put time into this game outside of streaming or grinding for orbs? Cause that's why I have such a cluttered inventory. I feels like forever since I've even done my homework to see which of these heroes are actually good for the long haul. And that was a lot quicker for all my heroes than I initially fought. I thought I had a few more three stars that I was just dying to get rid of. Mm, I guess I'll start with you and you. Okay. This leaves me with 300 out of 20. That was, that's definitely enough to get us for the rest of the hero drawing session tonight and I def I'll just have to remember to draw some heroes my own time. So I think Colas and Red are the two things I want to go for. I think I'm going to double check one more time just to make sure I'm not missing anything really f obvious. Oh, Indius Flawless Form. I think I might want Indius, but can't quite tell who that is. So I'm just going to stick with Red and Colorless for this set. Hey Red, it's actually really good. I can imagine. I wasn't paying attention. Excuse me. I wasn't paying attention to the trailer when it came out. But it makes sense that the feature character on the pattern would be really good. Or at least good for the sake of this pattern. Good for tanking stats and base stats just works well with his weapon. Well, if we get him, I'm gonna have to look at his weapon then. Let me check my orb count before I go for one more. But something my get tells me I'm gonna really want to focus on the Christmas. I almost forgot that they do that, but it does make perfect sense. It is December. It's almost time for the holidays and lots of joy. Is stuff like that. The opponent has any form of thief buff. Omni Breaker of the opponent has any form of thief buff. Gonna have to look up Omni Breaker in my own time. Have I mentioned lately that I do not play this game? The majority of my time playing this game is things that I can hit the auto button on. <laughs> That's why my armor units get so much use. To it. Armor units just seem to work so well in Tempest Trial when you're just grinding and don't really. Here, and you got pretty much infinite stamina potions where you can just you don't have to do it on the hardest difficulty possible the second heart just the hardest they can get through and just spam your stamina potions I mean, like I think it's just too late for them to stop my force I've ordered so many stamina potions that I'm just pretty sure when I run out of stamina that even if they nerf stamina, I can just use my infinite supply of stamina potions to get us, me through any sort of trial that I may face. Any sort of grinding that I possibly would need. So, Omni Breaker guarantees a follow up attack and denies an opponent a follow up attack at all. Oh, that does sound pretty good. 
Yeah, I don't think they really took stamina potions into account in general. It doesn't surprise me that everyone, everyone and their grandma probably has at least 50 potions. And honestly, that's probably just an understatement. Apologies for the mess that is definitely the accessories on my hero. I've just been going through the bonding sessions since there's an old Tempest trial to grind out. And whenever the game says, do you want all equip these accessories so you get a boost in them? And I just, I just go, sure. And that ends up with all my heroes just having the weirdest stuff on their heads. Because the game, it's like... Platoon, where you'd go for stats rather than style. Pretty much a very similar thing. In fact, I don't think I've adjusted the accessories I got from the... Pr not the previous bonding session, but the bonding session before. Some of my heroes still have accessories from that, <laughs> of all things. Oh, excuse me, I am being a fool. I want to catch up on the parts of the chat that I missed. But the setup I have, I missed it on the phone, and the setup I have could use some improvements with reading in that. So, yeah, all equipping accessories is definitely a thing that you can easily be done by a bunch of different people. I know it's not going to matter, but let's go with a more OTP setup for Tap L and see if it does any better. I mean, I could also concentrate that, but also work. But who's got time for concentration? So I think my goal is to get to 50, and then we'll do Pokemon Go Fireside Chat. Or, because I'm in the basement and the router is up stairs, we could be stuck on the loading screen to death! Yay! And then before you say, just get an Ethernet cable. My setup is awkward. And it is awkward because I don't have control of my life. <laughs> hey! Yeah, it definitely looks like I don't got a good connection setting. But I'm not sure how much that is. It looks like the stream is going okay besides the fact that the game's not working. I'll admit part of my hesitation to actually go on to Pokemon Go Fireside Chat. It's because I don't really feel prepared for it. I haven't done taken any notes. I don't really feel that confident in reporting any news that's been going on with the game. I just want to play games. <laughs> I only... I mostly just want to do Fireside Chat to get it done, because I feel like if I don't do it tonight, I'm not going to get around to it tomorrow, and I like to have the audio file up by Mondays. So, here's the thing. I'm going to pause the stream real quick and see if I can get Fire Emblem Hero working up. BRB. There we go, that wasn't too bad. And actually, we've been going half an hour as is. But I did say that we would go until we reach... Maybe 50 was too much, but I do want to get... I definitely want to do 40 at the very least. And maybe we'll do the 45 and the 50 set, depending on how quickly this goes. So, what sort of oddities I have up here. I mean, Chrome's fine. Lynn, I think it's auto, but it's fine. 
It's mostly just Athos and our little snowflake. <laughs> They're a little awkward. Thanks to the power of autofill. It's just me or is this one a little bit faster? Or it gets fast a lot quicker than some of the other attack battles. To be fair, I barely did anything with the previous attack battles, so... If it was a more gradual adjustment in the difficulty, it might have been possible that I missed it. So just tap, 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 tap all the beats, make sure. Just m mute the music and make up my own, cause you know. After all, Nintendo loves their copyright claims, and I know they recently made some policy changes. That say otherwise, but who knows? Their robots are probably not updated. And even if they are, it doesn't change the fact that all of the old videos I've made are still that way forever. Hey, I think that actually worked. <laughs> I mean, tempted to say excuse me while I take a water break, but I think I'll save that for the next set. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. Will I remember to upload this to YouTube anyways? I started doing them both in the past at the same time, so I couldn't forget. However, then one day the app can do YouTube and I got used to just streaming to Twitch. I say this like it's been a very long time, but it's just happened over the course of a couple weeks. Still, the time just flies and we're at the 50th floor already. Alright, so how much more before we reach our goal to the path of champions? I say this like we're at the end, but we're not even halfway there. Halfway there, halfway there. Not sure what's up with my voice. Oh wow, that was fast. I thought, nah, it was, it was a boss floor. Still a little bit faster than I was expecting. Still, where's the word I said? I do Pokemon Fireside Chat, and if we want to get to the really good part of the stream and not be up super late, I should probably end it off here. Still, I did a bit more with Fire Emblem Hero than I thought I would, so I'm sure people are always <laughs> appreciative of it. Halfway there, halfway there, halfway there. <laughs> so, for, just a quick note, because I'll probably edit at this point for the people watching on YouTube. Thank you all for tuning in to this edition of Pokemon or <laughs> Fire Album Heroes Live. I'm going to get all jumbled because we are jumping right into some Pokemon Go Fireside chat after this, so stay tuned. <laughs> 